Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever been afraid to ask God a question? Have you ever been afraid to ask God why? On October 7th of this month, my second daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. That's right. If you're keeping count, that means two of my four daughters have type 1 diabetes. God is not afraid and God does not get angry when we ask why. Why, God, did this happen? In Mark 9, the disciples were afraid to ask Jesus a question. Let's read together in Mark 9, verses 30 and 32. Leaving that region, they traveled through Galilee. Jesus didn't want anyone to know he was there, for he wanted to spend more time with his disciples and teach them. He said to them, The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into the hands of his enemies. He will be killed, but three days later he will rise from the dead. They didn't understand what he was saying. However, they were afraid to ask him what he meant. They didn't understand what Jesus meant. They were afraid to ask him. I want you to know something. You do not have to be afraid to ask God questions. You don't have to be afraid to ask God why. It may be that you have a child diagnosed with an autoimmune disease like, like ours, or maybe your child is right now fighting for their life. God is not afraid of your questions. He's not afraid of your anger. He's not afraid of your confusion. He cares for you and He loves you. Don't be afraid to ask God why, but also understand that it may take a while before God allows you to know the why. When Adam and Eve sinned, death entered the world, disease entered the world, sadness and heartbreak entered the world. We often see our difficult situations or difficult diagnoses in our lives through a microscope. We see it up close, we see it, it personal, and it's hard to tell the what and why of our troubles. But God sees our difficult situation through a telescope. He sees how he is going to take a bad diagnosis for our daughters, teach us to be better parents. He sees how he's going to bring us closer together as a family and also how to use us to help other parents with type 1 diabetes kiddos in their home. I asked God why my second daughter was diagnosed and he inspired my wife and I to help other T1D parents. See, God did not create the disease. That happened when Adam and Eve chose to rebel. And since followers of Jesus are not immune to the impact of sin, God wants to use followers of Jesus who walk through the same difficult path that others face to point to Jesus as our hope and comforter. So today, whatever difficulties you have faced, ask God why and be content with the answer to use you to share his grace with others. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, and leave a comment. God bless.